but it looks like Pony's lining up for April Tumbri. And uh, all right, so go and listen in. Uh, let's go ahead and roll into platoon brief. All right, so here's the deal. Those fuckers in St. Petersburg, they're at it again, just like they were a hundred years ago. You know, they, they fucking overthrown the local government. They're setting up, you know, Soviets, and we got to go put a stop to it. It's, it's no good. It's no good. So, uh, j you know, uh, President Putin, you know, he sent us. We got to get Petrograd and, and put down this uprising. But the problem is not just confined to uh st petersburg you know it's it's all around in the countryside including this village uh in this valley that we have to go through to get there um yeah so unfortunately for us out of all the platoons in the this division that's been dispatched uh general kornilov has selected us to lead the attack uh but you know we we got a pretty good plan for it so we think militia you know they have their communications equipment set up this factory complex in Echo 585. You know, that's that's our, our SIGINT guys are pretty sure that's where it is. They've, they've tracked it to that location. So we're going to go in, knock down the communications equipment, uh, and then kind of occupy a position to the rear of their forces in the town. Uh, they're going to be forced to try and push through us to, to break out, um, and then we're going to gun them all down as they come through. Uh, the way we're going to do that specific is all the squads off of Y. We're going to divert around the town, up into the mountain, uh, up into like C3, you know, like way up there. Then we're going to all split off into our sub-squads, uh, and we're going to have, you know, a squad's going to be working in the woods, over there, kind of waiting to storm the uh, the north part of Echo 427, you know, and then those, those kind of, that section of the town, we're going to have another squad. They're laying in wait to hit the fact. They're laying in wait to kind of hit like the, the factory complex in uh, in Echo Five Seven Four. Then we have two more squads. Then we have then we have two more squads, uh, and they're going to be flanking around south. Uh, and they're they're going to be basically looping through the south side of the town. We got one squad that's going to be moving along the north side of the road. One squad along the south side of the road, uh, and they're just going to kind of walk up through. Uh, and the way we're going to do this is we're going to get everyone in position first, hopefully not seen. And uh, if we are seen, we'll just, you know, everyone will just immediately attack. But if we if we manage to get everyone up close and personal to their staging points, then you guys aren't spotted, so do try to be stealthy. We're going to have the two squads on the leftmost side of the platoon, the ones that are attacking kind of like away from the factory, down along that, that road near the exfil location, which uh, our exfil slash defensive stand is going to be an Echo 5-1. See all these buildings over there? That's where we're going after we get that factory taken over. So yeah, we're going to have two squads. They're, they're going to sweep through that while the other two squads hold and wait. And when the two squads sweep through those areas, come into contact, then our other two squads are going to like charge up and attack. And we're going to hopefully catch them off guard, and they're going to they're gonna all get cut down, and we're going to have a great time. Questions, comments, concerns? Uh, yeah, yeah I thought communism was the solution to everything. No, I'm just kidding. Well, uh, you see, look, look, okay, so the official line of the Russian Federation is that Stalin was good, but Lenin was bad. So we don't like revolutions, we just like uh, big Russia chauvinism and um, tanks. So that's, that's our, the official position of the Russian Federation, so we do have to put down uh, these Bolshevists, Scott. All right, so any other questions? are we the bad guys? Uh, are we the baddies? Yes. <laughs> depends how you look at it. We are the good guys. But you know, depends on your perspective. Always Anyways, we're we're going if we have no. So this um, the plan is actually relatively simple. He's gonna try for a western push onto the factory that is right here, and he's gonna try and be sneaky and then just overwhelm them with uh just a a sort of needle head attack or an arrowhead attack. Breach the the compound, clear it out, lay down the fob, and then exfil as excuse me as quickly as possible. Are they? I'm gonna go ahead and swap teams. We're gonna go ahead and listen into the militia platoon brief. We've got time. Hydra, you're gonna have to get your mic figured out. Um, if you have to play mute, that's not the end of the world. But uh, let's see if you can get that fixed for before live. Let's go over here for platoon brief. Down in front. Let's get and it, boys. Feel free to use yeah, a shoot, squad I just comms. Realized. I think I fixed oh, yeah. it now. 
There we go. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, lining up. Getting ready That's for Lon's platoon roof. I I like Lon Darts as a, right, guys, a uh, commander too. He's got Welcome a really he's got a really damn concise platoon this beautiful breach. map, uh, Kres Nota, uh, as designed by uh, Pony, who happens to be our uh, position commander today. So uh, be aware that uh, the opposition's knowledge of the map and the terrain here will probably be fairly supreme, given that they designed it. That being said, our mission is to deny the Russian forces the ability to sweep through this village with their mechanized forces. There's a number of missions the Russians might be trying to carry out. Uh, they can include destroying two of our three AA trucks that you can see parked on the map, taking out our fob here in the factory uh, that is just to our west, or clearing five robots that are approximately marked with the skull and crossbones. We're going to be positioning squads uh, all over the objective area uh, to scout out where the Russians are coming from. Once we see and get an understanding of the type of contact we're going to take, we'll then be maneuvering to attack the Russians head on. All right, so be advised we're going to be attacking the Russians head on once we feel we know where they actually are and what they're actually trying to do. If we fail and the Russians are supreme, there are two exfil points that the Russians could choose. These are also currently marked on your maps. There's one to the north, which is the uh, red fob mark, and one to the south, the other red fob mark. So if um, the Russians complete any of their objectives, we'll be needing to attack those areas. So just be mindful if you're still alive at that point, uh, that's probably where the event admin will be asking you to go. All right, other than that, there's not a lot we can do in terms of uh, detail on the plan because we won't know until we start seeing what the enemy is going to do. Uh, if you've got the engineer kit, your IED is a timed explosive, about a 20 second fuse. So if you put it down, it will blow up in about uh, 20 seconds time. It's going to be handy for things like sneaking up on an enemy BTR, or if Russians have control of one of these buildings, um, detonating that in order to obviously get them out of those buildings. All right, any questions before we go live? You guys all hear that? Yeah. 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 All right, yeah, so we'll the the noise. move to your locations uh, in the objective area. Good luck, guys. And we are live. Let's go. We'll follow blue team as they decide to move up. I like the fog. The fog. Oh, I'm going to bring down the map. I've had this map up for how long? Nobody said anything. Um, and we do want to do it quickly, too. So. The fog is really going to uh, decrease the range at... Uh, at which these guys are going to be fine. They're going to want to get a little bit closer before uh, deciding to pull that trigger. And uh means that these firefights are going to be probably within like the, the 150, 200 mark. I like, the, I like Darts' idea, but a bit risky not knowing what the Russians are bringing. But no guts, no glory, right? How's it going, Johanner? Johanser? I've never said. No guts, no glory. Yeah, the Russians could be rolling in with two BTRs and just roll through these guys, but no, they're going to have basically no assets besides their original kits. And, uh, see what happens. Nice looking tactical blob from the Russians as they move out. Look at that. Okay spacing, except for that, that, that clump at the front. The spacing's not bad. That, that's a clump. But... Look at that. That's not, actually not terrible space. It looks like somebody's trying to do a line here. Who's this? Three. Three's got a nice looking line here. Two's got a tactical blob. Four's got a... Looks like he's attempting to do staggered columns. One. Looks like they're forming up into a files. Five with his uh, extra... Johan. Probably gonna have about four to five minutes of just maneuvering as they're gonna they're they're really just trying to avoid contact at the beginning as they this is where they wanna be. Right here where Gandalf and Captain Delon are is where they wanna be to uh start their assault. Getting ducks all in line, right? Herding your cats, get these guys together and get these guys moving. Are we gonna aim a little bit more towards the south now? Yeah, I'm just I like the, the terrain a course. lot. I, yeah, I like the. Uh, we are making excellent time, though. I'd like to say making We've great time. Like, I like the terrain. Good. It's it's a good amount right, of trees. So it's not like an obscene amount of trees to where like 
you, you, you can't basically like fire through them, minutes, but there's uh, enough trees where I feel you can r run through them and be pretty concealed if you're far back uh, enough. So Bigger small map? It's a pretty, it's a relatively small map. Only A to I, 1 through 9. Relatively small map, same, yeah, it's always going to be the same grid, but yeah. A to I, 1 through 9. So I think the the biggest maps go all the way down to like 13 or 14. Uh, that, that background noise too of uh, the guns firing. Your immersion is to the max. Makes you feel not alone. I think it crashed. I think it crashed. Did you guys hit that? I think it's okay. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it stutter there for a yeah, minute. Me too. Yeah, I hit that. Good. Warning. My bit rate is too high. Like the ground. Oh, okay. No, it was sky. Oh, but I thought you were gonna be tricky. Yeah, I lowered my bit rate. I, I don't know why. It says I can only stream at a maximum of six thousand. I'm streaming at six thousand, and yeah, I guess I'm streaming at six thousand ninety-eight upload. They can do way higher. I don't know why it doesn't like like that. Alright, we are currently five minutes in. I, I want to get to our starting position. Yeah, I think five, it just I want to be refresh attack. if um, at, like, uh, it stopped working. Uh, I think it should be yeah, fine now. 10, 12 minute mark. I'd say for four and one, though, you can probably afford to get a little bit slower, not only because two and three have longer to go, but also because it is possible it could have recon forces out in those woods uh, between you and your um, objective rally points. It, it's all going to come down to Gandalf and Captain Dillon. This is going to this is going to dictate how much time the militia have to uh, maneuver. YouTube looks like shit as usual. I believe it. Auto settings dropped down to one forty four p. Yeah, it might as it might as well just be a like green and white screen at this point with the fog and the trees. If you if you if you see it at one forty four. Someone shouldn't be switching places here. I think Captain Dylan's got the better spot here. He can see further. Gandalf, not so much. Let me see what, exactly what he can see. Places. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to see much of any. Yeah, then we're going to go ahead and cross the map. I think Captain is going to have the better spot. Yeah, nice looking force. That's all we're going to see for a little bit. But the, the squads are coming in to range of Captain Dillon soon. I don't know if he's going to be able to spot them. All right, four is about As the crow flies, head straight for him. Yeah, they're still, they got to crest this hill. These guys are on point. Could you go please behind me? Yeah. Alright, four is in position. Yeah, I've actually really enjoyed this four so far. Like, uh, there, there's trees to hide behind it, like, just pseudo sandbags. And, and as I said earlier, like, it's, it's a thick tree line, but it's not, like, so thick you're not going to be able to maneuver right, through it. Should line up now. Yeah, I think they yeah, should so get online here right now. They're they're still in their their stagger comms. Three is on point. They might get spotted here. Three is in position. You see, you see, in position. Head back over to Captain Dylan Gandalf. See what they can see. Gandalf might see these guys. No, no way he sees. Them. Yeah, no way. Good little ambush coming up, but is this a sh is this an ambush that you would take as two guys versus a platoon? 
I think the information you'd be able to give of hey, there's the full platoon on the west would be much better than the one maybe two kills you're gonna get. Unless of course they can just mow down an entire enemy squad as they walk past, as as one is about to do. He's not looking. He doesn't see him. Fog is too thick. He's still looking to his uh, to his west. They're in local Wanted range now. We can hear Friskers. He's he turned. He turned like he knew. Is gonna push a bit more up. Need more br uh, bushes? Yeah, maybe a little more underbrush. They don't know where the enemy is, but they should expect contact. So line up and walk walk bound. Yeah, I, I think they should start bounding at this point. He's walking right up on him. Alright. Gonna shoot. Okay, two. Oh no. Oh, did my string crash? Oh. That was weird. Gandalf, well, my stream just. I, I think I tried to zoom out as it tried to fire. Gandalf takes out two with that engagement. He's bandaging. Captain Dylan is dead. Gandalf is hurt. Or did Captain Dylan fall back? No, Captain Dylan's falling back. He's like, I don't want any of this. I am getting out. Gandalf takes two down, and he's going to have to try and fall back. Bandages, he's fine. He's out. Oh, it sucks that I, like, lagged there. I was trying to zoom in as he started shooting. I think my computer just freaked out. Gandalf's going to break contact really close. Rip blue four, yeah. That's what happens when you're on point as, as, as squad lead. Leaves uh, Bybee yeah, in charge. I believe yeah, that was three. Contact is pulling back from three. They smoke mount and, uh, try and try like pull back. Worst freeze frame keep ever, advancing. right? So this is the most unfortunate three freeze frame ever. Correct. Three to advancing. Yeah, great start for the defenders. One, if you can and he's not falling back all the way. You can respect that. Look at that. He's just gonna fire. Maybe Captain Dillon shouldn't have fallen all the way back. Maybe Captain Dillon stick with green up a little bit. He's just delaying them. Yeah, just delaying them. He doesn't look like he's gonna harden up. He's just gonna fire and pull back. Good call. Good call. Copy. All right. Don't leave from the front. Yeah. Don't leave from the front. They got. A, he got a little cocky with his positioning. Let somebody else get on point. He's gonna fall back. So just look out. It's just suppressing fire. These guys have no idea where anything is. They're just suppressing. Reloading. Update on the kills. Zero for the Russians. Two for the militia. Let's get moving. Let's... Gandalf taking both of those. Does every player have one life only? Yes, Javelin. This is a squad ops one life event. Once you go down with that little electric symbol over your head, you are down and out. If you can bandage before you go down, you can get uh, healed back to full. But uh, as, again, if you go down, you are out. If you're interested in participating in these events, check us out squadops.gg. Again, squadops.gg. Yeah, one try and Pony, we're going to continue on to the factory. Yeah, do it, do it. Because it seems like the, the contact engaging three is like. Any maneuvering stuff. from the rest of the platoon. Four, uh, we'll got some rear. Look, two's going on a flank. Red two's going on a flank. That's going to take a minute to uh to come to uh to full full fledgedness, a full fledged flank. Four. Let's go check out four as uh, these guys prepare to move on to village. I want to check this out. Looks like they shot somebody out. They shot Nomad out of the ZU. Flicker or Money Man has. Wow, look at that. They got a nice little foothold onto the ZU. Took out Nomad. Flicker's gonna have to bandage. Let's move around this way. Let's move around this way so we can get an angle. Starting to take uh, pop yeah, shots from watch the building. Out the yeah, yeah, we need to yeah, I really like this flank by four. Yeah, flicker goes down. Yeah, good flank by four is going to push in here. One, moving into uh, the factory now. Uh, he actually has a fire team spread out. This is good use of his fire teams by Storm, breaking them up, having them maneuver from different angles. Hopefully he's going to catch Red 1 trying to uh, maneuver on the south. Red 3 looks like they're going to reinforce where necessary. In the uh, broken... Uh, Copy. Yeah, I see it. Where's the rest of the maneuvering? No. Where, who's the maneuver? Two's. I like this maneuver by two. I really like the maneuver by uh, red two, and I really like the maneuver by red one. He's gonna try and pincer in. He's just gotta move quickly. Ooh, frag out. Takes out storm and uh, forces out lots of bandage. He got caught caught out in the middle of the field. Yeah, 
Second. Now it's a big game of chess. Yeah, it's just going to be maneuver and counter maneuver and the aggressiveness from the Russians. I'm trying to keep. I, I, I like to get close in on the action, but it's, it seems like I'm going to have to keep it wide so we can just keep an eye on these flanks. Base of fire here from three, two. It's coming in. Coming in now. Simultaneous flanks, yeah. It's simultaneous flanks of red two and red one. Red two, oh, they were coming in. I think they should. They should, they're trying to go really wide and come in from like directly their west. I think they should uh, push in uh, a little bit, uh, a more direct line. Really, yeah. Dwarf clears out his streak. He's got control of it. Blue, blue building's the only one he's really got to worry about. But from this building, he can put up a nice, nice uh, base of fire onto the factory. One broken up into two fire teams, one heading direct west, and the other trying to swing in and come in from the direct south, looks like. I like it. I, all of these squads are using their fire teams exceptionally well. Usually, you, you see them just stick together as full squads, but it seems that's the second squad I've seen who's done exactly what they should be doing with their fire team and using them both as separate entities, and it just allows you to do so much more. we got a squad pushing up onto the wall. Pushing up onto Oops, Axe indeed. Gaming Squad here on Factory. Not too many people here. Gained off Captain Dylan, made it back. I don't get shot. Axe Gaming Hero and Doobie Scoo. Only ones on defense. Frags onto the building, or onto Factory. Takes out some sandbags, forces Captain Dylan to bandage. Frag goes a little far. I think militia can pull this off. Yeah, the militia need to keep up their aggression, and they can't get... They're going to encircle them. Push in quick, push in quick. Here, here. Move, move, move. And they might be able to encircle this element here. Four is the only one on the outside, clearing out their streets where they need to. But I do like the militia's positioning. Update on kills. Three kills for the Russians, four for the militia. Russians managing to bring it back a bit. Close that gap. Oh no, you were on the wall. What are you doing? You. Charlie, go over. What are you doing? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't like this call. I think if you're gonna push in a factory, push in a factory. Red two is moving in. Yeah, red two is moving in, but they're still a little further back. They made it. They looked through that. How did it? Oh, Ninja Licious goes down to see there's. Here, here. I'm tossing a nade. I'm tossing a nade up there. Ah, oh, Albert Bly tries to push in, takes a shot to the neck, and dies. Good nade. Oh, almost takes out Seethers. Seethers gets by me. That's three for Seethers right now. See, like, what? There's no need to pull and push this building. They should have just pushed factory. Lose the three guys pushing factory and take factory. It's, it's okay. And they need to tighten that noose. Yeah, two's moving in. One. Re red one versus blue one. Really nice uh, flank here. Let's see if uh, Blackbeard can, can hold this off. Silent King Chavez. In the grass. Hawk doesn't see him. Right, Silent doesn't contact see them. Me. It's just grass. Pull back. 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 Hawk's gonna push Blackbeard. Hawk sees no, uh, Ding Chavez. I mean, Hawk sees Ding Chavez. Takes out Ding Chavez. Silent gets the return frag onto Hawk. Hesitation while breaching means death. Exactly. Hesitation without breaching means death. And pushing unnecessary buildings. Like, what What was the tactical advantage of taking this building? 
He take out Seether's in the end, the goon, but Seether's, like, that value, Seether's got value out of, of holding that building with four kills. Yes. Seven kills, Jesus, that guy's a madman. He just destroyed a, like, a, almost a full squad on his own. Two, completes the flank, Dashby is alive? No, he, he, he dies. I was like, hey, how is it that red and he is still alive? Nope, he does manage to bandage in time. Red 2 completes their flank. And uh, they're pushing in. It's only a matter of time. I think I've blue since we're going to hear these comms. Maintain that rear security. Is anybody maintaining the rear security? Nobody's maintaining rear security. Squad 3 down to 2 guys. We're regrouping with the squad up. Understood, 3. Alright, we need to attack the factory. You may be advised, I have my Charlie element moving southeast on these buildings. They're going to attack factory from the north. You may do a rear request. Yeah, 3, watch, watch our flank. Watch the flank. Get three to watch the flank. Okay. Get no, somebody to look back. Understood. Hey, right. Jacko 800. Okay. Makos goes down to Jacko 800. This guy knows how to use an MG. I think this is a good guy to have on rear security. Takes out Mako. Doesn't see Revy. He's just laying down, suppressing fire, letting him know. All right, we're looking this way now. You're going to have to think twice about pushing destruction. Let's go check out Phoenix as he tries to push in from the north. That's the problem with committing all squads, you need one in reserve, yeah. Yeah, and you don't even need a full squad in reserve. You're not shot at monies, you're alright, you're alright. You're getting shot at from hydrogens, or yeah, hydrogen. But having a buddy team looking back, a fire team maintaining your security, or just one guy. <laughs> who can say, hey, there's people behind us, turn around, and then the other people can turn around. Right, four, two, it's something. You can't the... not have anybody Actually, on our security. But this aggression the by uh, uh, Militia is just on point. Very impressive. Very active defense. One almost completely yeah, surrounded uh, as he goes down to an IED. Does he go down to that IED? Like or excuse me. Four, three, four. Just cut, Satchel charge. Cut south he might. I don't know if he went down to the satchel charge, but the satchel charge that? definitely went off here in Salt's building. And good clear from them. In the middle of town? Yeah, see, so like, look, look at the big forest, look at the town, you got the roads, you got one road in the north, one road in the south. There's a big island of forest in the middle there. Try and, try and go like, occupy Echo 5? Echo 5 9? Yeah. Okay. Echo 5 9. Um, there was contact Fox 418. Uh, I go. I suspect they are not there anymore, Here. uh, because one is getting... Round two, no, uh, big man, this is round one. Near in the mid game of round uh, one, looks like. Nine kills for the Russians, 20 for the militiamen, actually near in that end game at this point. Uh, As things four, went from 100 to zero really quick. Where did they go wrong? Was it the... It was lack of rear security for one element. Dwarf, great clearing. The uh, storm and Phoenix had some great pushes on the south. They just didn't capitalize on anything. Bree had the the when they were here. I think this was the what swung it in my opinion. Right here, when they decided to vault over and try and take this green roof building rather than pushing in and trying to take the factory itself. Nuclear twist goes down to liberal pundit. Frag out. Gonna go too far. You gotta underhand it. It's on the roof. <laughs> yeah, wasting a fire team for one person definitely didn't get. Patrol got stopped cold. Um, the patrol did. It's they 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 didn't put their aggression aggression in the right spot, I'd say, and they got flanked. Oh, look at that, pony. Goes down, looks like. Yeah, Pony goes down. Three's holding strong. Two's completed the flank. Gonna connect in with one. Yeah. It, it, it's nearing that end game, and it's gonna start falling apart for the Russians here quickly. Love Pony, right? Get in there and fight. <laughs> go, go, go. Update on how many blue is left. One, two. 
about 10. They got about a squad and some change. There's a couple guys over here. Let's go check these guys out because they're going to die soon anyways. Push out. Where's Lon hiding in all this? There's Lon, far east of everything. He's a finally. He's got all of his guys committed where they need to be. So many Abden camps. It's gonna be. A, 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 I, I probably can't have the map up for much longer. But the movement from the Russians was good. I really liked their their opening movement. Unfortunately, three leading from the front went down super early. Um, that probably why his squad made some of the the, the decisions they did. Four Dwarf squad did some good work on the north. One and Phoenix's squad did some good work on the south. They just they, their pieces were there. They just couldn't connect them and and form a, a cohesive plan. So each individual element in different spots, they definitely did great. They just couldn't combine everything into yeah a, a good a good working plan to complete their sites, but nothing we can do about it now really. My team did oh, some yeah, work on the custom map. Really great, yeah. That was Alpha Guido pushing up. He doesn't uh, realize how close they are. Front. Total War has a firefight no with lead 06. Alpha Guido trying to get eyes on. Uh, he's dead. Alpha Guido takes well, out a uh, Bartok out. Warrior behind him. Doesn't see Total yeah, War. There's two there behind trees. More, more. Goes down to total war. Goes down to total war. Yeah, it would be nice if we could make the other spectators invisible. That's my number one gripe with admin cam. And well, probably my number one gripe is fix the 50 cal bug. Because I like hearing that 50 cal shoot. We have open top M wraps and we just can't ever hear them shoot an admin cam. Second second is get the admin get the uh the, the spectator cams out of it. Looks like Elite 06 goes down to Revy on the flank. Right to the head. Is that it? One, two. What a clear from the militia. What a very act it's like Yeah. What an active clear. Like RP wise, it's like the militia knew the terrain better and they utilized it to their advantage. Looks like uh, Vladimir and Sled V only two remaining. Yeah, yeah. But like RP wise, it's like the militia. They they knew their terrain. It's their home. They've got it. They're gonna defend it. Russian forces are coming from the major city. They don't know this. They don't. This isn't their home. They don't know what they're doing here. And uh, the militia managed to take advantage of the situation. Very active defense. Very good flanks. And everything they did was really on point. They have to move in on us. They don't have to move in on you, you them. You have to move in Unless on Unless you want to, like, gloriously just... They don't have to there. move in on you. You have to move in on them. You're on the attack. That's you, Tap. Yeah. That's a rip for the Russia. 13 kills for the Russians. 36 for the militia. They just didn't manage to uh, convert anything into kills. <laughs> you feel like it? Oh, sure, 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 go ahead. Yeah, yeah, let's go for it. We may get shot in the back when you saw them in the west the last time. Well, that's what I felt like. But I, I was, believe that was Doku and Ryu who took the shots, maybe uh, APA, APA. Hey, just smoke. Do you have smokes? Watch them win the game. If like, they would be just gods if they could win the game. Uh, I I would get an exact count on how many Russians yeah. are left, but it's something like almost three full squads. Like 22, 22-ish people left. Give them the tags if they do that, right? Can they nick the truck? Unfortunately, no. Truck's out of gas, flat tires. They can use the guns, but they can't use the, uh... 
They can't drive the truck. They can't drive the vehicle. There's smoke. If you want to try to. But he's afraid. Afraid to move. Use the smoke while you got it. Go, go, go. He got shot once. You're not the best place to bandage. Hurry up. Go while you can. There you go. Inevitable. Just get it over with. The whole enemy yeah, platoon still way. exists, right? It's like 22, 22 more militia. They've got to go. It's, a, it's an 11 to 1 advantage. Militia. What are they going to do? Are they going to go up? Yeah. I mean, they had... Yeah, see, there's over right here. You got 7 kills. Maybe. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's, it's getting the trees over here. No cover in between tires, yeah. Nah, they will shoot from the buildings. Somebody will see us. Different approaches here. Do you stay near the buildings and then and then have the ability to go inside quickly if necessary, or do you try and get away from the buildings and use the tree as concealment? Definitely not cover. It's concealment. It's okay. He's shooting at nothing. Blood V, shot at, goes down. It was a BVD runner who took the shot. Possibly helpful. Ooh, yeah. I think that was uh, actually BVD and Appa helpful. They're still trying to live. What they don't realize is there's no surviving. I mean, you're not wrong. Vladimir alone. His Russian platoon dead all around him. One versus 21 at this point. Maybe. Probably still 22. I don't think they got another kill since I last countered. He'll go down here soon. That went from like a hundred to zero really quickly. They they were losing guys left and right. They're gonna get spotted here on the north. No, he's too low to get spotted. Yeah. Nope, he got spotted. Freestalker. Sneaky, sneaky spot from Freestalker. You see, he knows. What are they shooting at? Yeah, last known position, probably. Vladimir knows. Takes out Freestalker. Not sneaky enough, Freestalker. Not sneaky enough. He do it. Is he gonna go off? Is Vladimir gonna go Rambo? <laughs> Vladimir goes down to Appa as he tries to vault over that wall and that is GG for the Russians nice try again I said it <coughs> excuse me I said it earlier they had pieces that were great Dwarf Squad did great Phoenix Squad did great like all the squads they, they moved and got to their separate positions correctly they just couldn't capitalize and combine that into a, a nice cohesive line to Vladimir, push in your feet in were on. clipping through the walls so they knew exactly where you were that's rough. Nice, nice try, guys. Nice, yeah, nice try, though. They almost managed. I, mm -hmm. Their mm -hmm. allocation mm -hmm. of aggression. The buildings they pushed were just not the buildings they needed to. They needed to push. 
and and they really paid for it. Specific, I, I just I, 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 I just I harken back to Squad Three when they pushed that building and they gave uh, Caesar seven kills. And they, unnecessary push. The building wouldn't have been advantageous to push factory in anyways. So there's really no point in even attempting. Just post a guy outside. Watch that main window and get ready for him to run out. We got to keep them where people right, well, keep them rare enough where people actually want right. to uh, first round good effort at them. Uh, this round we're choosing the green route, so that means our objective as the Russian team is to clear three or five roadblocks. Those roadblocks start in the Foxtrot three grid, so I'll mark uh, with my little move markers. There's going to be one in the Foxtrot two grid, one somewhere in the Foxtrot four grid. Must be on that main central road that runs north to south. There's going to be one in the Foxtrot five grid. There's going to be one somewhere in the Echo 5 grid. And again, the last one's going to be somewhere in the Echo 4 grid. Our mission is to take down stakes and all three of those. The exact locations, that's up to uh, the militia. But uh, Mark generally on the map at the moment is potentially approximate. So in terms of our plan, from live, we'll be mounting up into our magnificent BTR 80s, traveling east. Uh, out to the Hotel India line. From there, we'll be moving uh, south to approximately Hotel 525. We'll move into a final staging position somewhere around the reinforcement point. From here, we'll be doing a headlong run straight at the red BTR marks that you can see marked on your map. If you want to take a moment, everyone, to zoom in on those. We're going to have two squads basically in the eastern BTR, two squads in the western BTR. Just to the south of those BTRs is a little slope where the entire platoon can dismount in safety. BTRs will drop smoke, but they will not stop. So once you hear the call to dismount, go ahead and press F and, and you will dismount. Now each particular squad has a particular assignment, particular building to clear. Total War Squad will be taking the building Echo 565. That is the one that's marked with the skull and crossbones. If you're in his squad, remember it is the blue two-story. It's a key, key building for us to take. Assault squad will be taking the small compound, Foxtrot 544. On the skull and crossbones. d squad is taking another key building. It's a green two-story building. So if you're in d squad, you are looking for a green two-story building. You'll be assaulting that. Axis squad will be moving east getting a foothold on that little building as well as the forest that is uh, out on the uh, MG Mart. That's our initial posture. So it's going to be a hot drop, go in there hard and fast with the BTRs. BTRs will drop smoke just before those houses I've talked about. Infantry will dismount, BTRs will not stop, BTRs will get up with their noses on the road and start firing. Start suppressing north in the hills. The enemies could be, as we were, positioned um, maybe even up to two squads in that north little island forest area. So just be wary of that. Total Warsaw on the west, be wary of our western flank and any forces that might try and uh, come from, and I'll mark it, the factory area, Echo 582, to flank from the west. Axis squad out in the far east will be protecting from any uh, maneuvers from the enemy to the northeast and north. And assault squad and then d league squad will be getting into the forest north once we clear that south side of the road. I also expect us to see somewhere in the Fox 5 area on the MSR, one of the roadblocks. So that will be our primary first objective. As to who and how we assault that, we'll have to figure it out when we see where it is and get an idea of how many enemies there are. It's highly likely that if we're fast in this assault, we'll be successful. The enemy forces are probably going to be spread thin, so we get in there hard and fast, take out first roadblock, get two squads into the forest, and then we'll reassess either moving west, clearing out our next roadblocks, or east, depending on where we see the militia coming from. All right, it's a little bit of a complex plan, um, so I apologize for that, but we are blessed with enough time to talk about it. So anyone have any questions? Got one question, Lawn Darts. Go ahead. Uh, are you familiar with the power of these satchel charges? Are they going to be sufficient for taking out roadblocks? You know, that is an excellent question. I tested it earlier today. They will not take down the wooden roadblocks. It's, uh, they'll only save you about three or four digs. So don't use your satchels on the roadblocks. Use your satchels to clear buildings that you suspect militia to be held up in. Also, it would, 
just speaking of uh, kits that have uh, explosives in them, it's everyone's responsibility to keep their eyes out for mines on the roads. Keep your eyes out for IEDs, especially when you're digging down um, the roadblocks. Assume there's an IED around it somewhere, so please don't all go in and start digging. You know, just uh, nominate one or two lucky guys with shovels uh, <laughs> who should have their eyes out for an IED, and the rest of you get security for those guys to dig. All right, so once we clear our three roadblocks or die in the attempt, we will exfil in either Echo 5 1. Uh, there's a building here that I'll mark, but really any building will do. Or seven. alternately, Foxtrot 3 7. Which one is basically up to whoever's left alive at that point, assuming we've gotten the three roadblock down that we need to get down before we can exfil. All right, any more questions? All right, excellent. Let's mount up. All right. So, how Benioff asked. So this is for squad. What is for squad? This, what we're doing, or squad ops? something squad ops group makes for the game squad i mean these events are something we run with using the game squad um like we have no say in where where the actual direction of the game itself goes but we use like uh the the sdk and we use their maps and like this is a custom map but and and their the assets to to run our squad ops one life events if that's what you're asking if you need to clarify then go ahead and i'll try and answer it a little bit better um, I love when we get the platoon briefs. Definitely think it's worth delaying live. I, I love a good platoon brief. Some squad leads had sort of fallen in favor of doing individual right. squad briefs, and I didn't like it. But they seem to have grown back into wanting to do right. full Go on six, platoon one, brief. Nine. Mission one or two, Green Man. This is mission two or op. Uh, to six, one, one, come back round two. Three, That's two. I couldn't couldn't figure out the word. Is this is round two? We just started. Just uh, went live. Getting people mounted up still. So. They've got a few minutes. Let's organize. I think some of these BTR squads in them. BTRs. Make sure that you uh, start ferrying guys to Hotel 615. All right. These Turn guys are get getting going. Platoon. Let's take a look Ball at Russian there. positioning. Or, excuse me, militia positioning. They got Red 2 on the northwest, Red 1 in the middle, Red 4 on the northeast, Red 3 watching factory proper. Very hardened up on the northern point. Or the northern part of the map. Red 3 is going to be the only one to really come into contact quickly. Command, should uh, our guys start uh, running that way towards you? Yeah, just head on full with me. Uh, copy. Hard to move. <laughs> Took a little bit. Thought that uh, we could outrun the BTRs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's because they're having to go uphill. Okay. I was like, why are they going so slow? They got it. They're moving. Damn it. Just keep going. Good. Yeah, dealing. You want to come out to the east? I really like the terrain of this map. This valley is, is really nice. It's like, it's not super, super steep. And it still looks like a valley, and the tree cover is good. Like, nice map. Nice gradual valley. Man, Silence trying to go, like, northeast almost. Fire team moving or a buddy team moving out to the east of Albert Wise. 
And Raft, they may spot this, or at least hear it. They hear anything. Nothing yet. Squatch forward, just try and head uh, due east. Everyone on foot, tell you guys to head due east. Copy. Yeah, I don't think they can hear anything yet. So pretty far out. I wonder if he, if Pony made it like this so we couldn't do this. <laughs> he actually modded the map between, uh, yeah, <laughs> between, uh, round switches. They're figuring out a path. It's like the Germans through the Ardennes. They're gonna get through there. They're not gonna expect you to get through there. You're gonna do it. Yeah, they're figuring out a path. They're picking up some speed. And actually, they're almost in position. May come in some... Or... They got a, a Red 4 moving east trying to intercept these infantry. I don't think they realize this infantry. They're actually moving southeast to try and intercept BTRs. Really just trying to get eyes on the east. Red 2 going to hold that north position. Make sure they're not coming in from their northwest. Red 1 moving southwest to watch their western flank. Red 3 continuing to hold village, or excuse me, factory proper. Oh, where'd they go? Like a glove. They're doing it. It's a really good thing we got some skill drivers in these uh, in these BTRs because this is uh, it's it it looks easier than it actually is. Go go go! You got it. Go. There you go. Everybody rock over. <laughs> <laughs> Highly doubt that would help a vehicle at this size. Just came back. What is going on? BTRs are moving through the woods and uh, trying to get into their position on the south part of the map before they try to clear out these roadblocks. You got red, uh, blue four and blue two moving south along the east side of the map, getting ready to move in. Red four moving east to try and intercept anybody that tries to move along this east side. Red one moving southwest to the ZU, possibly to this west side of the map. Red three spreading out a little bit from a factory proper into these houses on the south. Red 2 still on the northwest. Be spotted, BTRs, when you come back, um, try and pick the fastest way you can. We're in a lot of trees here on uh, this column. Are they allowed to respawn if they if they got ran over and died? Yes. No liberal. Yeah, they, they're gonna on respawn and that was a bug. Usually you can't actually die <laughs> from getting run over. Imagine though, like, if like squad in general had a, if you get hit by a vehicle you die. First off, I would be driving a techie around everywhere just trying to ram people. Secondly, the team kills would be insane off of live. Just insane. But if, yeah, if they had collision where you actually died if you got hit, techie all the way. Do you want our squads pushing in already or just waiting? Negative. But if you can get spread okay. out security on that point X, so you're in charge of northern security, get you guys nicely spread out too if you can just uh, have uh, western Fortunately we don't have any commands set up. Uh, we will get them set up. I've been working on them slowly. We've been slowly go uh, trying to update our, our Switch page, our YouTube page, the pictures and, and all that. Jazz, 
and uh, we'll work on getting the commands set up. If you got any questions, I can try and answer them, like the bot would. I think they're gonna be able to get these guys in. Get going, no problem. For the BTRs. There's no trees, and they can really blitzkrieg in. But if we have infantry pushing in on foot, we're probably, we're probably gonna want to take this route. We're going now, northwest. All right, perfect. So you're in Gulf. Red Four is just going to become cut off if these BTRs hurry up. Yeah. Everything to my south. Well, not necessarily cut off, but just left out to dry, like where there's no point in them being there. Red 3, uh, say my name? so they know, they hear them now. Red 4 100% hears these BTRs or heard these BTRs as they move, uh, prompting Command or uh, Pony to move his platoon, Red 1, into Village to take charge of that. Red 3, into the, the buildings that Command or that, that Blue Team wants to take charge of and uh, to hold that. Red 2 could probably maneuver at this point. Yeah, it looks like he's having his buddy team fall back. Yeah, Red 2 could probably re-maneuver at this point and get these guys on the east. There's the only questionable uh, lack of movement that I'm seeing. Everyone else has had some pretty solid movement. And even I'd agree, maybe not send the full squad out to the east, but send a fire team out here. Try and interdict anybody you can. Just slow them down. But committing a full squad is is, is not a, it, it's not the wrong choice, I'd say. From my position here, there's eyes on that's an ID near three that's nasty let's go check it out let's go check out these uh these are mo almost 100% mines let's go check out yes I do all right yeah, right here uh, assault assault can you advise three the best way to move to your position in concealment three you're gonna be taking up right position just to the north assault here it's a mine Copy that. I have my basic course tomorrow. Looking forward to taking part in some of these awesome fades. Awesome. Can't wait to see you. All right, squad leads. Trying to have basic tomorrow too. Awesome. Great. Yeah, dude. Basic is really fun. Only 45 minutes to an hour long to complete the course. Then you can participate on any and all of our squad ops one life events. If you're interested in participating, check it out. Squad ops .gg. It is all in the calendar. You miss anything? Nope. Not yet, Mr. Easy. Still, BTR still moving through the woods. Dismounting infantry and getting these guys Simon moving Pitt. in. Who do you think is going to win? Last time, the militia won re pretty handedly. Um, but that might have just been from misplaced aggression from the Russians attacking buildings that were unnecessary, where the the, militia, the Russians this time have clear objectives. Get these... Uh, I guess the last time they did have clear objectives. Easier objective of just... Not easier, but a simpler objective of assault this building and take out the fob. This time they're going to have to assault and clear out three of five of these roadblocks scattered along the road. There's one, two, um, three. And five, five routes. Probably gonna be those ones on the south. This, the that one and this one probably gonna be left out. No point in going this far north. They're really gonna focus Copy on that. this these uh, robots here. We got a nice little You'll shot of all three. About. There's a few trees and some bushes you can get across that field with the All right, squad two and squad four. We'll see what happens though. I'm not actually sure who's gonna win. To to put it. Uh, Keep a low profile. Squad two loaded. Oh no. Once command, I'm pretty sure we have not been spotted. I think we can get the infantry squads up here in position before Shit, they hear the BTRs. The right there. Roger. I cannot hear the BTRs from up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm the BTRs are rolling. 
Yeah, there's a building stay right, in, right stay there. In the trees. Yeah, just hide. The road's right there. Copy. Three, if you could push to your north. Once you're on the north of one. One, if you could push basically to your west. Guys, moving. Londar's leading from the rear might actually put himself in more danger than the rest of his platoon as four is moving to try and catch up to the BTRs. Probably going to run into command. All right, I got audio on BTRs now, so I would assume the enemy does as well. Axel, once you're getting up there uh, to your northwest, fairly aggressively getting you guys online, protecting from any enemy movement. Look at them move in. The Look north. how quickly they can move in. Let's see how close they can get. They're going to get them on these buildings. Oh, great use of their smokes there. Free Stalker's the only one who goes down. They're being engaged from Phoenix in this building. They took out two, maybe three guys, but they're, the, the aggression's there. Phoenix goes down. Blue building's to clear. Both green buildings are going to be secured in a matter of moments as Assault pushes in and tries to secure his great, great aggression here as the militia, excuse me, as the Russians secure their foothold. Very well coordinated. Great use of the BTR smokes. They lost a handful in the engagement, but that's what happens on the assault. You're going to take some casualties, but it wasn't massive casualties, and the Russians still have this upper hand. They're going to be able to hold this or moving direct west off of this aggression. Not even going to try and continue south anymore. No longer going to flank. Just going to try and reinforce the point. Red 2, going to try and move along the road. We'll see what happens with them. Red 1, we'll see what happens with them. Command, Fox 5, 4, 8, Fox 5. 0 to 100 in seconds, right, Mr. Uzi? Let's hope they keep up this aggression. I agree, right, Razor? That was amazing. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, definitely. First good drive to the driver. I don't think he died to the driver. Phoenix was in this green building here, and he had a really good crossfire. Like, he was firing onto you guys as you dismounted. Here. He had really, really nice shots. Just firing at you guys. Just firing through this fence. And he took out at least two, maybe three of you guys. Let me check, actually. Phoenix. Oh, he didn't get any kills, but he definitely, his squad got some kills. Really, really nice foothold here. They've got all the buildings they were told they needed to secure. And they're pushing across. They're going to try and get this foothold in the field. Keep up that aggression. Keep it up. they got to maintain this aggression. they got to maintain this momentum. Couple seconds of earlier dismount, I could have gotten behind things. Yeah. So get his guys across the street. They're gonna try and get a, uh, a foothold in the center forest. What else is going on? Four, remaneuvering. Two, remaneuvering. They're moving south here. Everybody's trying to remaneuver. Uh, two should move north. Two should move south. Good, I, good call to, to maintain northern security. Using the roadblocks for cover, right? Roadblocks for cover, and the roadblocks are almost down. Dark mail shape, helpful. Digging that down. Assault's probably a little too close. Where are the IEDs? Where are the IEDs? Nowhere near them. There's no skull mark. Mine. Mine, 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 mine. Are they going to hit it? Are they going to hit it? They're going to hit it. They ran over it. BTR down to a mine. I mean, that's that's a, that's a small win for the BT or for the militia. They've got one of those BTRs down, but the Russians, I still say, uh, have that upper hand. Yeah, rip BTR. And they've got a nice little foothold in the forest. It's gonna open up their northern flank really nicely. Where are they gonna maneuver from here? I guess they're gonna try and go for that robot to their southwest. Or excuse me, direct west. To your northwest. Copy. What's the progress on the roadblock? We took the first one down. It's gone. Roger, four. Need you to cross the road with one. We need to take control of that uh, forest in the center. This forest right here is what he's talking about. Really good assault here. They got to maintain this momentum, though. They can't stall out and allow the rest of the militia to remaneuver. Specifically, two. 
They cannot allow red to. They put so much pressure on this northern push. Look, look at the assets that are here. This, this is all of their, uh, their mines and IEDs. Squad four, I need you to get across the road in the forest, pronto. Squad four, do you copy? Squad four, copies. All right, do you acknowledge last? I need you across the road as soon as possible. Get them moving. One to four. I'm gonna keep edge of north so I make room for you okay, here, we so we don't get bundled up. Hey, there's a there's a guy oh, out, suppressing boys. us in F418. We're trying to get eyes on him now. Cover in that building. Roger. That's a two-story right. Correct. I think moving via buildings would be better than the fourth. Yeah, I cool. yeah I agree. I think moving through the buildings would be better, but um on that same hand. Have a squad in here and maintain control of this right, because it's going to open up yeah, you to maneuver outside of these buildings. Like, you don't necessarily need to move through the buildings, but moving along the buildings would be good. Because it, you don't want to clear out unnecessary buildings. We saw that last round. The Russians fell prey to that where they pushed a building. They lost seven guys to it because, and it wasn't an objective. Here, use the buildings for cover and, and, then, oh, and then have a squad in the force to maintain that security. You're not going to get snuck up on. So, yeah, yeah, it, it, you got to kind of do the best of both worlds. This is a little oversaturated. Just putting fire down on factory. Nothing really there. This is a little oversaturated. Get these guys out of there and get these guys. I guess they're trying to maintain suppression on that roadblock. Here, they are pushed through the, the force really quickly, and they did. See, this is where they're going to fall prey. If they try and push into this, I, I don't think it's going to end well. Put an IED here. Ooh, assault's gonna. Firefight, Flint Frisk goes down to assault. Yeah, assault's gonna win that every time. Cyclone takes out one. Excellent work. Keep on sweeping like you are in a clockwise fashion through the forest. Cut. Counterclockwise. But he, but Axe understood. Axe understood. Don't push. I don't know. I don't like the idea of pushing these buildings if you don't need to. But it looks like they're going to be able to overwhelm this. Good assaults. Good, um, good on assault for keeping up this aggression. Dangerous having the SL on point before entry. Yeah, this that's assault's leadership style in a nutshell, though. Assault is always in the front, and it works out for him more often than I think it it should. But he's just so like he's good. He knows like he's he's a great shot, so he he knows he can he can win most firefights, and. It, sometimes you gotta have one of those follow me kind of squad leads and uh, if it's gonna be anybody it might as well be a soul his name fits so well they've got control of this building the only one remaining is Viper update on kills 8 for the Russians 7 for the militia of even game so far but uh, I would say Russians are in the driver's seat. Frag out, or frag round out onto Fiber. Dark Milkshake misses the shot. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right there, right there. Copy. Drop it there, and then back up. Alright. Everyone really fall back! Yeah, back up, guys, back up. Hang on a second. I need you to get further back. Satchel down, Satchel down. All right, no mercy, Satchel down. I like it. I like it. They don't know there's anybody in that building. Might as well use your assets before you lose them. Good IED or a good Satchel charge. They do need to clear this out though. So many windows at the complex. Control, if you like. Four, three, six. To the north of one. Yeah. Please suppress it. The reason he. I do like once he confirms any presence, he had his guys pull up in and had them begin clearing this. Is the reason he runs a CQC hit pocket. Yeah. Assault does definitely run that uh the CQB course. He's good at it. Love the passion of his voice. Yeah. Tom's are so good. Arms are really, really good for the uh, Russian team right now. Let's go ahead and swap for another, another squad. Let's go check out somebody else. I feel like I'm focusing a lot on the Soul's team. 
Axe may be spreading his guys out a little too much. Like, I don't know. I don't think it's necessary to send uh, Hero, Liberal Pun, and Dogu Gunreal that far out. But I understand he's going to try and maintain control over his north flank. Do we have armored barrels? Roger, do you have any eyes on the roadblock too? Say again, Command. Any eyes on the roadblock? Staring at one. I don't see anyone over here. Hold one. Staring at one. It's right here. It's to your left. It's to your left. Right here. It's literally one to your left. Do you see the roadblock? Yeah, like right underneath us to the west. Totally. Yeah. It's literally take a 90 degree turn to your left. Like. 20 meters away from us. Oh, yes. Yeah, copy that. <laughs> they got it. Total worth saw it. Everybody was like, it's right here. It's right here. <laughs> he got it eventually. That'd be great. We, do, we don't see anything, but uh, just in case, that'd be great. All right, BTR's maneuvering. Once BTR's in position two, make sure you use smokes. Get two guys out there to take it down. Frag round out onto Outlaw. Actually, I'm not sure who shot that frag, frag round out. Outlaw goes down. Good advice from Londars. They're shooting at you, shoot them back. That's how you win. Kill them and don't get killed. It's easy. Alright, we're gonna watch two for a little bit longer. Actually, no, this this right here. Squad 3 is gonna try and push across the street, coming into contact with Subway Samurai and Kurt Cobain. Don't get shot, let's see. He cursed his name. Is he gonna get shot? Oh, he's got a GL. He's got a GL. Put a GL round in there, man. Oh, who's that? Captain Dylan goes down. Subway Samurai gets return frag from I'm not sure who. I'm gonna hit it with a GL. Yeah. Get it? Exactly. I don't think it's close enough to arm. Actually, great, great GL. Great GL. That didn't work. Yeah, no, it did. Doing it did. the same thing. I don't think it's gonna. No, it did. It went off. Is that friendly? It, actually, it might have been. Honestly, somebody can clip that and, and, and go check. It might have been Kurt Cobain who accidentally took out uh, the, the guy who was on top. Because I, I have honestly no idea where else it could have been from. Make sure you use the best assets to breach these buildings. All explosives should go up first before. Yeah, it looked like it. Kurt panicked. <laughs> All right, let's go check out two as they try and push through. Roger covering. Two, progress. You're digging them down right now. Uh, we are taking a fire from the west. Still, Roger. Good suppression fire. See, they don't know where things are. They're just shooting at, at buildings. Places where they could be. That's how it works. Be advised. Uh, we are most for scratching and reading. Seven. There's a lot of contact there. I'm pushing up. Roger that. Hey, How Roger. Much I'm watching. Uh, I need to know Westside. exactly. I'm right. Hold one. I'm peeking. Come in. Peek. Roadblocks are down. Roadblocks are down. Okay, I'll go left. I'll, I'll go left. right. You go left. Roger that. One, two, three. Mount up in the base. Roger. Oh. What is? One two command. I got my uh, fire team. Oh, uh, three down. That, that was such a a lack. I got shot. Got shot. He got shot. Okay. It was such a like lackluster push. They were. They weren't quick enough. They didn't move in quickly. I don't think he gave him enough time because I'm going in one two three go. I'm going in. I'm going in on three. You know, give him some information before you just run in. The other guy who was supposed to go left look look left and then looked right. Unfortunate. Kurt Cobain's gonna make it out of there with three kills. The Assault Squad has done a good job cleaning out this building. Viper's still there somehow. Did no one have nades? I think most of them were Grenadiers. That's two roadblocks down. They need to get a third. Update on kills. 11 for the Russians, 14 for the militians. There is. There should be a roadblock somewhere in Ec Four. Yeah, they're 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 leaving a roadblock, an undefended roadblock. But essentially, there's only two people here defending this roadblock. Squads one and four. Are looking for a roadblock in Echo Four. That's going to be west of U Four, southwest of U One. 
One and three, you're gonna hold the contact you've got. Four, you're gonna move west and look for the roadblock. Yeah, I don't know why they're trying to go like north. Go west. No, Copy. not northeast. I want you to go west. To check that. <laughs> yeah, if you can watch rear. I'm on rear security. I saw the guys right in front of me. I don't know if they saw us. Oh, I see him. I'm gonna hide. They saw me. They just saw me. Four to one. We're gonna be ready to move. Close northwest. Did we lose one? Frag out. Four. I need you to move yeah. west. D Leak, open your map. Look at which direction west is, right? Straight along west. Uh, I'm gonna crawl just a little bit east so we got a little bit more spacing. I repeat, there must be a roadblock somewhere in Echo. Because Kirk got four, technically. I mean, technically, I have four. Out here in the woods on me. Close. Roger, I need you to hold them off. One, four. I need you to make haste to your west. Echo four two three is what I want you to get eyes on. Command Hero and I are uh, together in this. Oh, well, so it takes out Kirk. I didn't realize Kirk had pulled out of that building. Just kill as many mili militia as you can. There they go. Force finally moving. Four, four to one, you're gonna have one or two contact to your east. Copy, it'll, it'll, it'll be late. I killed one of them. Update on kills 13 for the Russians, 17 for the Russians. You're gonna be screening contact in all feast. Four is looking for the roadblock. Echo four, two, three. Yeah, they're stalling. Two and and it's not from lack of orders. Londarts has been really clear what he wants going on. Wow. Assault is getting pushed so hard yeah. here. Colt goes down to frag. Skeleton, the only one remaining up here. It would be cool to have a competitive matchmaking like this with one life. It would be difficult to do in practice to do with random. Yeah, um. We're not really like. Yeah, like, competitive, like, we're not super competitive with these. Like, yeah, winning is fun, but it's it's more about the experience. Because even if you do lose, you can have a great time if you're communicating properly, if you're maneuvering properly, and if orders are nice and clear. Because you're not always going to win. But as long as you're having a good time and you're having that experience of the One Life event, we're we're happy and we feel like we're, we're doing our jobs here. And I think it's a great, like, spectator event like I, I like to I like to try and make it a good spectator event keep things exciting uh, I feel like sometimes my camera movement's a little erratic but it's fine I'm getting better I feel um D-League squad finally getting into position gonna see this roadblock here relatively soon storms the only one here BTR rolls up on these guys they have contact on their west here though they got they have to worry about red 2 here Storm is surrounded here. Good use of the BTR so far as actual infantry uh, vehicles, actual armor personnel carriers. This is like the third time now that he's had guys mount up and remaneuver them very quickly. So good on uh, Londarts for using the BTRs as intended. That was risky, but I like how it worked out. Yeah, I agree. Uh, very risky, but I do like. You can respect that he's actually using an APC as an APC. Most of the, most people like to use BTRs as just weak tanks, like just. Vehicles with a, a machine gun that they can park off in a direction, but they 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 often underestimate how effective it could be to remaneuver an entire squad from one side to the other. Yes, we see it. That red guy shooting himself. Yeah, that was Storm. That was a squad lead. Most definitely shooting himself. But hopefully he gave that information to Pony and he knows what he needs to do. Yeah, he died here. He tried to uh, push your nightmare. Oh, Alright, that building. Can't cross the road. Suppress it. Get an element onto those. 
Sandbags. Sorry, onto the wall. Echo four three four. All right, get the something element, and then Thanks, go. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Dig down the objective. The only reason I think it was a little too risky is that they took a lat shot from that building a few minutes ago. I missed that lat shot, and I probably, uh, I like as a commander, I would have definitely said, "Oh, no. Whoa, they hit a mine or an IED." Wow, that had to have hit a mine or something. I don't know what that was. They 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 went up in a ball of fire. That's two BTRs down. That's that's both of their heavy assets. And they're down to the infantry. 17 kills to 26 as the militia start taking it away. You're slowly, slowly overwhelming them. Well placed mine. I yeah, uh, somebody clipped that. I, I was watching it, but I don't know what killed it. It just sort of exploded. It wasn't a lat shot. It might have been a mine. I'm thinking it was a mine. Played by Dick's folk, maybe? That lawn down? Is that lawn down? Lawn is down. Yeah, that was the, the, he was in that uh that BTR. Lon is down. Great. Oh, I felt like the Russians were in the driver's seat for this entire round. Their maneuvering was on point. But they've lost so many guys. They are down. Yeah, they've lost all of their infantry on the north, all of their infantry on the west. They are down to these. They have six guys left. Six guys left. Right? Oh, there's two over here. That may be all she wrote, command down? Yeah. Yeah, Londarts is down. He was in that BTR as it, as it blew up. This was the this is the call I would have made to come to this one, but the how quickly the the uh, the militia moved to defend it was almost unreal. Good job on Pony to keep his guys maneuvering. Yeah, he's still alive too. Update on who's still alive command structure wise. Who's gonna be the one taking charge of this? Assault is dead. We are everyone to a fire team lead, a fire team lead, a fire team lead. Like they're out of their squad leads. It's gonna be who's the loudest fire team lead, fire team lead, squad leads, fire team lead, fire team lead, command. So militia still have their command. They can still do this, militia. Easy, easy roadblock for here on Liverpool, and somehow got behind enemy lines. They don't even know how they got here, but they're there, and they're gonna be able to dig down this roadblock, no problem. That's gonna be their three. They're gonna be able to exfil. Russians are gonna be able to complete their objective, and then just get out of there. Not like they were following command to begin with. They were following command to begin with. It's just that sometimes. It, the thing is, people underestimate how difficult it is to listen to squad comms, listen to local comms, and listen to command comms, and differentiate differentiate who needs to be talked to first, who's saying what, and in and like in what context. I think it's relatively easy because I did I'm like my major is like radio TV broadcasting, so I, I did a lot of like talking on camera with somebody talking into your ears like during news broadcasts, and I think like it's it's easy for me to to. Just continue talking while somebody's talking in my ear, but it's not it's it's a, a skill that you need to practice at and get better at And when you throw that pressure onto that fire team lead you gotta come you gotta talk You gotta talk over them over and over for them to get through because it's like they they just don't hear They just flat out just don't hear It's definitely an acquired skill. Yeah, I agree Was that F3? F3? I stepped out for a sec, and what is Blue Four trying to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory? Uh, it, it, e basically, the 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 turntables e as uh, British or excuse me Russian forces are now almost completely wiped out. They've lost all of their heavy assets. They've got two in the north, four on the south. That's six guys remaining. They've got two two squads left. Seventeen. So about two squads left for the militia. But Russians are clear to exfil. They can get out of here. They've completed their objective and dug down three of the uh, the radio, or excuse me, roadblocks. 
Yeah. You have to be able to listen and talk at the same time. Exactly. Copy. We're gonna move Gotta be able to listen and talk at the same time. Okay, let's go. Let's start back. I'm out. Plans only work till the first shot is fired. Very, very true. These guys are just gonna exfil. Get out of there. They are being shot at. They're gonna get out of there. Okay. They're watching us. Just go, go, go. Just run, dude. Just keep sprinting. Sprinting. Go around the wall. Hug this wall. Quick spread. I'm in an awkward minutes. spot. Echo five one. Echo five one. Okay, we're moving to Xville. They're moving to their Xville. Yeah. Russians have completed yeah, their objective. But are they gonna live to tell the tale? Any medics here? Cause your nightmare is hurt, quick scratch is hurt. We are airborne and no matter fine. I don't think so. Is there a Monty Python runaway meme? I wish we had a hind in the mission just have a pilot come pick up yeah i think long-term goals for for our ops is like once we get the helicopter good to go we can actually exfil like it's a it's a literal the helicopter is coming to pick you up once the helicopter picks you up and leaves that's the mission it's it's not going to be an it's not always going to be a fight to the death or a last man standing kind of scenario that we we have to do now but yeah like long term imagine like the, a helicopter coming in to um to come in and exfil these guys would just be amazing especially if if they didn't think to to take out the zus because they don't necessarily need to take it out for their mission but for like anti-air like you have to take out the anti-air for the them to get in safely because imagine getting picked up and then them hopping on those zus and just blowing the helicopter out of the sky it would be insane or the btrs if they'd survive yeah get in the btrs and get out of there yeah, I can't wait for that at the end instead of a team deathmatch. Exactly. I 100% I agree. Great job from the Russians. Managing to complete their objective. Lucky the liberal pundit and hero somehow ended up on the north over there. We'll see what happens, though. Probably going to be a few minutes of maneuvering from the, uh, the militia as they get their bearings and figure out how they want to approach this objective. They don't, the militia do not know how many Russians are left. So they, they may be under the impression there's full two squads, three squads. They may be under the impression that they're losing because they've made it to that final objective. But uh, they are quite handedly in the lead numbers wise. They should be able to uh, overwhelm this really quickly. It would change the tactics of the mission drastically, yeah. It would, it would def definitely change how these the uh, the commanders have to think about it when they actually have to like secure LZs and, and make sure they are clear to exfil properly rather than get to the building and hold it to the last man, which I, uh, is fine. I mean, I've been with squad ops for, you know, two years now and, and we've had my share of these these, these death matches to the end and I, they're, they're fine for, for what we have. But once we get, you know, once this game is, a, you know, more and more complete, we can add in more and more of these assets. Or tweak more and more of these assets. We're, 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 we 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 kind of we we've slowly fallen back from just throwing in the assets as soon as we get them, especially like tanks. We haven't had a tank in any of the house because they're just so hard to like balance infantry wise. We like a tank can carry a match single handedly, and that would make it unfun for you know everybody on both sides. Do both sides know the other side's objectives at the start of the mission? Um, both sides. So Russians were tasked with completing one of three missions and the militia were tasked with defending all three of those missions. One being a roadblock, uh, the, the other being defending some ZUs and the third being defending a FOB slash weapons cache. And so the militia don't know exactly which mission the Russians chose. So they have to sort of spread out and then fall back to two points that they, uh, once they figure out sort of what their objective is. Russians know that the militia are in the area, but they don't know the actual disposition of enemy troops.
After they upgrade the engine, you'll have an additional squad on each side. Yeah, that that's going to be great. Having an additional nine people on each side, that's an extra squad, and you can do so much more. Hammer and anvil uh, tactics will be much more effective. Um, actual two-prong, uh, two, uh, pincer attacks, much more effective because you're going to have more guys on those flanks. Defending things is going to be more viable because you're going to feel comfortable leaving a full squad behind because you're not just crippling your platoon. It's... More people, more tactics, better. <laughs> Contact between us, you, us, and them, you. All right, Roger. Two guys. Oh, what the fuck? It also frees up the ability to have a dedicated armor infantry fighting vehicle squad. Yeah, exactly. Like right now, um, Assault had like a five-man squad because he had to give four people for vehicles. But uh, when you can have a dedicated squad and then still have full effective squads, tactics. You can do so much more room for activities. I prefer the ones with choices. Yeah, I like these stoplight ops. I like the Jinx ops. Ops with choices. And some some of the older ops, like uh, Hutch Air ops with, with the simple jumpers, are a lot of fun. But they, right. You know, it's, it gets to the point where you understand how they are played. Even if you're not intentionally understanding, like, intentionally trying to, like, play around the information, you just, like, some of these ops I played 10, 15 times now, and I just, I just, I recognize how things happen usually and, and how we should be going about things. And it, even if I don't want it to, it's, it's still in the back of my head, and I'll make subconscious decision, decisions that my character would otherwise not know. Love the tension on Jinx Ops. Yeah, I really like the, the direction they're going with the Jinx Ops. Lipper Pundit and, and Hero just really afraid to move here as uh, Albert Blythe, Bybee, Ninjalicious, and Sneak are in between him and me. their objective. I head direct west. Don't worry about going all the way around. See that? They say head direct, directly towards them, head west. Uh, alrighty. Uh, we're going to cut behind the cell. Hero wanted to take a little safer path. Liberal pundit gonna follow orders. Hey, I got contacts moving in the field. Uh, north directly. Okay, hold your fire, no battle on. I have no visual, I wouldn't be able to fire you. Hero sees Blythe. Blythe is getting the upper hand, takes out Hero. And then Liberal Pundit goes down to either Sneak or Sninjalicious. We have contacts to our north. Both guys down. All that remain are the four on the point. Actually, three on the point. Two on the point. One on the oh, point is Quick Scratch's last man standing. Okay. That escalated real quick. That assault from the militia. Russians complete their objective. They cleared out their roadblocks for their platoon or for their battalion. The battalion's going to be able to move in and mop up the militia. But they lost a platoon for their troubles. And he's dead. These buildings don't offer much in the way of protection. Great job for both teams. Russians, they I really thought they they were gonna win it like pretty handedly. They they their maneuvering was great, their aggression was there, the communication was there. Then the militia just they got it in gear. They managed Ooh, to maneuver bang. around and and hold their objectives. Uh, they they, they lost their they, they lost their objectives, yeah. but they managed to hold and whittle down the Russians. By the time they got to by the time they completed their objective, there just wasn't enough to excavate.